Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is an update to the big fat psycho situation that she has created for herself. All of my listeners know that <clears throat> I am a big, huge fan of keeping the historical record and holding people to their word. See, either stand-up people will keep their word or they just say things to make themselves, uh, yeah, they basically lie. So we'll see what the, we'll see what the big fat psycho does, but I am making this video for the historical record. Um, one of my buddies told me to uh, go look at the comments section uh, today of, of the video that she put out claiming that I am setting up fake law firms and international money laundering and, you know, all the other ridiculous things that she said that I've done. So, and I'm just only speaking for myself. I don't believe any of the, the other stuff that she said, but I'm just speaking for myself. I can't speak for anyone else. So I found a comment that was rather funny and I want to hold the big fat psychic to it. And, and if she holds to it, good on the big fat psychic, psycho. It says, uh, um, one of the, it cut off, I think it's the crown, because she's one of my viewers, I can tell by, I think it's the crown, it cut off there. Um, she's just saying, you have no evidence against these women, your claims, blah, blah, blah. And she's just sort of, you know, disagreeing with all the crap that has been presented, because that's what it is, in fact. It's crap. The big fat psycho response and this is the historical record well someone not me has made a formal complaint to the police well that's good i hope somebody did make an, uh, a complaint to the police if anybody has been stolen from i didn't do it so good i'm glad because then that will further even prove that it's not me and then she writes, so either way, the truth will come out. And if I am wrong, then I would apologize and even close down my channel. I hope that's good enough for you. Well, big fat psychic, it will be good enough for me for you. To, I don't need an apology from you because I don't think very highly of you at all. So you can keep your fucking apology. I will keep bringing it up until you because your promise is that you'll close down your channel if you were wrong well you're wrong um that'll be good enough for me the damage that you have caused me i mean that just totally like ruined a whole day not ruined a day for me that i was like crying or whatever but it it pushed things back that i was working on because i had to deal with you and your fucking crap lies but anyway so the big fat psycho has said that she'll apologize. She can keep her apologies. She said she'll close her channel down. We'll see if she does. I don't watch her channel. I never have even heard her her channel until two days ago when, when I get these messages. I don't know who she is, nor do I care to. I like the psychics that I watch. I don't. If, if she was any good, I would have heard of her by a long time ago. But anyway. Um, I'm not sure what more proof that she's going to need to close her channel down because she is wrong. So, one, I didn't do it. I said I didn't do it. And I'm sure that Christopher Boozy tweeting this was very difficult for him. As he even states, I can't believe I am tweeting this. But Montecito Royale isn't the Duchess of Narcissics. Now, I'm sure that, you know... I'm sure the sugars weren't happy, but the truth is the truth. I didn't do it. And, and if he does know anything about other these other people, he doesn't th want that interfering with whatever he knows or whatever's going on. I'm not saying that anyone's accusations are true or false. I'm just saying. That's going to under... I mean, I didn't do it. So, Big Fat Psycho, what more proof are we going to need to get your channel shut down because of your lies? You know they're lies. Or completely out, you know, misapprehensions that are just beyond, that you didn't even show anything about. Is it going to be for when the police say whoever stole money from whoever? What if they don't catch them? When am I going to be exonerated by you, big facts? What more is it going to take? Because this, Christopher Boozy did not want to tweet this. He says it. 
And it proves that he knows that's not me. The sugars know that's not me. So what more is it going to take for you to shut your channel down? Something, something from the police? Will that do it? Or are you just going to not shut your channel down and just let let this this whatever it is that you've done live in perpetuity and just keep saying, well, I haven't heard yet. We haven't heard yet. We haven't heard yet. I'm calling for you to shut your channel down. No, I'm calling for you to keep your word and shut your channel down, big fat psycho. I don't know what more proof that you need. I don't know. Christopher Boozy is no friend of mine. He is no friend of any others, but he did knew the truth and he said, I'm not that person. But Big Fat Psycho, if you could let me know in the comments section or somebody that's friends with Big Fat Psycho, ask her what more proof does she need that I am not Montecito Royal, nor did I do any of the things that she's accusing me of, like zero Zero. What more do we need to until you keep your word and shut your channel down? Or you're just another liar out there. If you don't shut your channel down. Keep you can keep the you can keep the apology. That you're a fucking liar anyway, so it doesn't mean anything. So if somebody that knows the big fuck psycho could find out which what more proof she needs and that she to that I did absolutely zero of the things that she said. She needs to shut her channel down. Or what's it going to take for her to say, okay, I was wrong, I'll shut my channel down. Because that's what needs to happen. She's lying to, I never even watched her before. She's lying to all of you about everything. Once a liar, always a fucking liar. Looking forward to the comments. And again, this is just for the historical record. It's right there, plain as day. Let me just read it to you one more time. While well, someone, not me, has made a formal complaint to the police, I do know uh, of one of my viewers who has. I know he has, and he made a police report. I don't know what's going to come of that police report. I can tell you what's not going to come of the police report, that Blair O'Toole and the Duchess of Narcissix is not within any police report because I didn't do anything. That I can tell you for sure what's going to come up, that police report. That I can tell you. Other than that, I don't know what will be on it. I really, quite frankly, don't care. <laughs> this has been a thorn in my side. Well, someone, not me, has made a formal complaint to the police. So either way, the truth will come out. Yes, the truth's already come out, but I don't, is it a police report? Can somebody call the police, whoever's filed this police report, and say, is the Duchess of Narcissus involved, a girl that lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Is she involved? Somebody could call the police and say, is, this, is it leading to this person? They'll give you a no. Did she make a, an Instagram account? No. Did she do any of these things? No. So either way, the truth will come out. And if I'm wrong, I would apologize and even close down my channel. I hope that's good enough for you. Shutting your channel down. Um, I'm not going to dwell on the big fat psycho anymore or this thing because it was completely, completely out of left field, completely dreamed up. 100%, not even 99.9% of which she's in there. There's that 1.1% 1 .1 that is true about that. It, no, it's no. So I will periodically check to see if she's shut her channel down, but I will not dwell on this situation anymore. I just will monitor if her channel is still up. Thanks and looking forward to your comments. See ya.